So hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be doing a tackle bag dump. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we got the top pouch. I have a red bobber, a yellow bobber, and a green bobber down in here. I have some Rapala scissors, line cutting scissors. Um, I have an Ozark Trail bait knife or a fillet knife. It has a nice protective sheath. I have some of these water gremlin split shots. Um, I have some Berkeley gulp worms. They smell really nasty. So, this tackle box is a Berkeley, just so you know. So, I'm getting into the inside now. Um, so, that's where you can put your licenses or stuff. Um, so the first thing up, ahead and set the tackle box down behind the camera. So first up, we got a little tackle box here. Um, it didn't come with this. I got it separate. So I have some spinners. I have some gold nose art trail ones. I have a black one, a frog colored one. Um, I have two bass jigs from Bass Jig. Um, I have some weedless and um, octopus hooks. A Rapala diver. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'll put it down there below. Um, we got one of these Rapala original floaters, what it is. Um, I have another smaller version of the original floater. Elk jerkbait, really good. I've not caught nothing on it, but it acts good like it's supposed to. Guys, do they make things you can put over your hook so they won't get hooked into each other? Okay, now here's my line of baits. I'm not even going to bother untangling them. I have a crawdad rapala. I'm going to drop it. Didn't break. I have this, um... It came in my tackle box. I'm not sure what it is, but it's another jerk bait. Um, I have this countdown, as I already showed you. And this Ozark Trail crankbait. And I have a lipless crankbait, a rattle trap, is it, what it's called. So that's all for the ta that's all for the box with lures and stuff. Go ahead and close this thing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out my soft plastic. So I have some yum dingers. They're really nice baits. Um, I really haven't lost any. I've never even caught anything on them, but still, they're pretty good. That's what I think. So I have some Berkeley Chigger Crawls from pa Berkeley Power Bait. Fish hold on 18 times longer. Well, and and um, Bearded Crazy Legs Chigger Crawl. It's four inches, 11.5 centimeters, and black, black blue fleck. Hook to use Superline EWG, and this comes with five of them. Okay, so some more soft plastics that claim that fish Hold on, 18 times longer. It's these, it's these shad-looking things. So, um, I haven't even opened these or the chicken crawls, but this is a poggy swim shad. Poggy, I don't know. Tell me in the comments how to say that. Three inch, eight centimeters pearl red eye. Now three inches. I think is eight centimeters. 
pre-rigged, so it already has the hook in it. You don't got to worry about no hooks. You can just pick these up and get to using them. So now, these are like my favorite ones. Um, there are Berkeley Powerbait, Max Scent, the General. So five inches and it is 13 centimeters in centimeters. Hook to use weedless wide gap. There's eight of these. They're really nice. And um, that's all I got for y'all today. But like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing some more air gun reviews. Um, I'm going to do a review of the Red Rider and the Daisy 426 once I get it. And I will see y'all in the next video.